har har hello and welcome to another episode of Scott Grows an Avocado Tree. A very special edition today because today is Scott Grows an Avocado Tree's 2018 Christmas special. Scott grows an avocado tree. 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 Now, this video may be a little sillier than usual. I wanted to have a bit of a year review, uh, looking back at 2018, what's happened with Norbert the Avocado Seed. And um, I thought that me sitting here talking about it would be a little bit boring. So I had a think to myself. What could I do in a Christmas special that's avocado related while I review the year? And I have just the thing. That's right, and what better activity to do on a Christmas special than some cooking. Today we are going to be cooking smashed avocado on hash browns with bacon and poached eggs. Let's get right to it. For this beautiful breakfast, we're going to need some ingredients. Per person, we're going to need two hash browns, two eggs, two bits of bacon, or however many pieces of bacon you'd like to have, a bit of sweet chilli sauce, and of course, an avocado, which we will later halve. Our avocado journey started all the way back on the 8th of April when I had an avocado with my breakfast and took the seed, which we recently named Norbert, and put it in a glass of water. I then put it on the window ledge with my then smaller collection of seeds. Things look quite different now, and I realise I really ought to clean my window. We're going to start by putting our hash browns in the oven as per their cooking instructions. For me, I'm going to put them in the oven for about 20 minutes at about 220 degrees. Now we've got a bit of time to wait before everything's ready. So I am going to put a pot of water onto oil on the stove and I'm gonna put the kettle on to make a cup of coffee. Only days after placing Norbert in a glass on a window, on the 10th of April, I discovered that it had developed a crack. This was unexpected and I wasn't sure what to make of it. I was a bit nervous because usually seeds begin cracking much later than this one did. I made some predictions and it looked as though my prediction that it'll sit for a few months before sprouting will be most true because it's now December and it's still alive. Now I'm nearly ready to cook the bacon but first let's prepare the avocado. Now I'm going to cut it in half just as we usually would with an avocado and of course I'll save the seed so I'm not cutting all the way to the seed. And then we want to get a fork and a bowl. And we just want to scrape the contents of the avocado into the bowl. So we want to scrape the avocado with a fork straight into the bowl. You want to be using a fairly ripe avocado for this as well. Uh, so this one I actually bought last week. Then once we've got the avocado in there, just like that, we're going to use the fork and we're going to smash it. We're going to smash. Yeah. Part of the uh, hash browns, but I usually use, uh, if I'm just cooking for myself, half an avocado. That way I'll get more avocado usage. There we go, that's nice and smashed! So now we're going to just get a dollop of sweet chilli sauce. This is optional. Um, I find it adds just a little bit of extra bite, a little bit of extra zest to the dish. So just, just a drop. You don't need any more than that. Because it really comes through. I'm going to give it a good stir through there. And I reckon... That'll be perfect in a moment. There we go. All right, we can set that aside. Now that our water is boiling, I'm gonna turn that off and set it to one of our smaller burners. And I'm just gonna keep it warm. I don't want it to be boiling furiously. Nothing like that, there we go. Then in a warm pan, on a medium heat, I'm just going to pop the bacon straight in. These non-stick, I find that I don't actually, because the bacon's quite fatty, I actually don't need to add any oil. Sometimes you do though, so that depends on what you're using. So I'll just pop that straight in like that. On the 5th of May, I noted that it was not showing any signs of dying, and it was possibly beginning to grow something. I was encouraged and waiting. And I'm just going to let it fry away, and I'm going to flip them every couple of minutes until they're cooked. Later on in May, on the 20th, I discovered a root emerging from the seed. We can confirm that it was growing and it was alive. There was much excitement. The growing had begun. 
Now the bacon is just about done, but how I like it. Um, and so I am about to start poaching my eggs. Now I want to turn this pot right down. So I just want it to be hot. I don't want it to be bubbling. Because uh, if it's bubbling, well, a little bit like that's not too bad. Because um, if it's bubbling, the poached eggs are just going to fall apart. Um, now some people say to put vinegar in, but I heard Jamie Oliver say you can put vinegar in the water. It might help them stay together a bit more, but they're going to taste like vinegar. So I don't bother with that. I'm going to put salt in the water. Um, the way I do my poached eggs is that I'm going to get the egg. I'm going to crack it into a cup, just like a measuring cup. Uh, with a handle is helpful though. So grab a measuring cup with a handle, crack it in there. I'm going to set the shell aside to put in the worm farm later. And uh, I'm just going to pop this in nice and gently like this. Be careful because the water is hot. Just nice and gently pour it in. And just like that, you have it all intact. It's best to use real fresh eggs. The fresher egg you can find, the better. Um, unfortunately, I, I'm just using uh, supermarket eggs today. but uh, So they're not as fresh as they could be. They're not straight from the hen. Uh, they're not too bad. And we're just going to let them cook. The water is hot enough. You don't need to see it boiling or anything. Uh, as you can see, they're already starting to cook in there. So we're going to wait another couple of minutes. I'm going to turn these over again. And uh, we're just about ready to go. And the roots just continue to grow from then. Over the rest of the winter, then the spring, and now the summer, Norbert produced more and more roots. They grew in number and in length, eventually reaching and curling around the bottom of the glass. We've waited with eager anticipation for the upward growth. It's been over eight months since we began germinating the seed. And there we go, the bacon is done, so I'm just gonna turn that off, and then we're gonna turn off the eggs as well, and we are ready to serve very quickly because the eggs are done. Uh, it takes a bit of practice to get the poached eggs right, uh, just depending on how you like them. They, I'm hoping to have a little bit of runniness in my yolk still. Now on the plate, I'm going to pop my two hash browns, and I'm going to just dollop on there the, uh, the avocado. Just like that. Um, this one's turned out fairly smooth, which is fine. I don't mind that at all. Um, then I'm going to get the other things. So I'm just going to get one piece of bacon and put it on each one. Then for the eggs, I'm just going to grab a slotted spoon and spoon them out, letting them, letting them drain a little bit before I pop them on the bacon and hash browns and avocado, just like that. stuck together fairly well. The fresher they are, the better they the better they hold together. I just want to not let this one slide off. Whoop. It's a little bit too much liquid on that, probably. And there we have it. Mmm. Delicious. And that's all for this year. But would you like to see what's happening with Norbert right now? Hello and welcome back for this mini episode of Scott Grows an Avocado Tree. I was really hoping to be able to report a Christmas miracle, but that's not the case this time. We are still eagerly awaiting Norbert's shoot as he continues to develop his roots. Though I am expecting to see some upward growth soon, as I have several other avocado plants which are ready to be planted in soil. We will continue to wait eagerly into 2019. Scott grows an avocado tree. And there we have it. Thank you very much for tuning into this special edition of Scott Grows an Avocado Tree. And thank you for joining me this year. Thank you to the 35 people who have subscribed at the time of recording. I appreciate you coming in and watching and commenting on my videos. I hope you have a marvellous Christmas and a happy new year and I will see you next time. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree.